Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Invasion series. So, I've got a couple of ideas I want to do, what I do want to do for today. We're going to work on the house here for a bit. Um, and what I want to do is I really want to get our food production up and running. So I've done a few things here, as you can see. Planted a bunch of stuff between episodes. It's starting to grow. I got a bit more industrial hemp going. We can probably get a third windmill up and going. Um, I got enough uh, industrial hemp here. We almost got enough for a third windmill. So I left some of it uh, growing there. Now we need to pick up some dirt today, so we're going to go do that. But the first thing I want to do is we're going to make some um... shoot. Did that just go ahead and do what it did? Oh, I thought it did. Now I need to make three more. Uh, we're going to make some um... I can't make three more. I can make two more. Oh, well, that figures. Alright. Well, anyway. We'll have enough light. I'm making some um, glowing glass here. I guess we can take out one of these now. Um, so we're going to make some uh, glass that's going to glow. And we're going to do a proper grow up. So let's go up on the roof here. Uh, so the, what I want to do is I want to work on kitchen stuff today. So let's take this. Because uh, we're going to fill all this in. We're going to do it in such a way we can turn this into like a grow up looking thing. I'm going to fill around the outside real quick here. As long as it's got light right now, they, the crop should be fine. But we're going to light it from above. And I'm hoping that these glowstone blocks that we're making are going to be more than enough. We want one there, and then we want one there, and one there. We'll do the same on this side, like that, because we got this in a 9x9 nine nine grid right now, so, right, and then we go 1, 2, nope, this one needs to be our light, right, and then 1, 2, 3, and then that's our light. Just, I think we might just barely have enough here. And that's going to be our light. Right? So there's where our lights are going to go. So let's go down and get our lights. Now I've connected this these two areas here uh, between episodes. And this was kind of my inspiration for wanting to do this. Uh, where are we here? Down in here now, right? Uh, Enlightened quartz, right? Yeah, fused quartz. I didn't really want the fused quartz, but we got it. So let's put it in here. We got light and fuse quartz. We've got 10. Um, because we're going to make a kitchen here too, right? So let's put these in. Oh yeah. That should be plenty of light. And then I can take out the torches. And this should be enough light for nighttime. Yeah, it's nice and bright. Awesome. So we're going to do that. And now what we're, we're going to do is we're going to take these. I'm going to fill this in. I hope we have enough. Gonna have to make some more, I think. We're just gonna run short. I think. Well, maybe not. We might just have enough here. So we're gonna pull out this one right here, because this is gonna be our kitchen area. And we're gonna put in that last. There we go. A little bit of soft light from above. Three, four, five. We got one extra. Nice. And what I want to do, because we can't have any open areas. It'd be nice to be able to have this open, but drones can fly in here. They most definitely will. I've had that happen in the past. So we're going to use the nether brick fences. So now we can see out, kind of, I mean, it's not the best. It looks more like a jail cell. But it's going to be our kitchen, so we're going to work on that today. So we got some quests that we need to do for that. All right, so let's put these in here. Uh, now the first thing we want to do is we need to get some seeds because we need to get a quest knocked off here. So we need to find another 11 seeds. Okay, we've got to have some guys out here. So we're going to kill them. Now, um, we're going to plant these torches. So let's F9 this, or F7, sorry. Uh, F7? Are we F7? 
No, we're off F7 now. There we go. So we want to, like I've been spreading the torches out here as wide as I can get them. Uh, just because I really want to fill these areas in just so that we don't get really any spawns at all out here. The more that you do this, uh, especially in later in game, um, the less chance you get of getting like nasty base invaders. All your base will belong to them. All right, so that's not bad. Okay, sun's out, perfect. What's up guys? Get rid of the F7. All right, let's go look for some seeds. Still lagging every once in a while. I'm not sure why it does that. Wish there was another way to find seeds. I mean, you know what? There was a couple of buildings, I think, in the uh, in the villages that had seeds that I don't think we uh, picked up. The other thing, good thing about having all this grass gone, we don't need that anymore. Thought I saw Herobrine for a second. He's got me spooked now, that guy. He hasn't been so hard to deal with ever since we got the tougher armor and better weapons. So I've kind of been ignoring him. Don't really need that. Just that he's so hard, damn hard to hit, right? In a way, it can be worse than the drones because at least, you know, the drones will uh, only be attacking you from one direction. Or see teleports, which is kind of nasty. Now, I think we already have a lot of these seeds. I don't know why I'm picking them up. Now, I said I was going to knock all this down a little while ago. I gotta do it between episodes, I think. It's gonna take over a day to knock all this stuff down, I think. I guess I could just make it. We got so much diamonds now. I guess I could just make a diamond shovel. Go ahead and do it. We're not even gonna find enough seeds today. What's up, guys? So our crossbow is slowly whittling down. We've got four. Um, another guy over here. We have four. Um, pieces of duct tape we can use. I don't know if tonight's going to be a really dark night or not. I guess I should check the moon out. Because we may be able to just stay out here for a bit. As long as it's not like that night we tried to climb up the ladder to the uh, top of the... Um, yeah, it's going to be a dark night tonight. Alright, well, we'll have to work on getting seeds in the morning. Unfortunately, everything we want to do is gated behind that. Look at this. Nice and bright down there. I should do that with everything up here. Okay, I'm going to break this down and fix this a little bit. We'll be right back. Huh. There's somebody down there. There must be a cave under here, which is bad. So we're going to have to dig down. You notice this little guy right here? It's not a fish. There's somebody under here. So we're going to have to dig down and figure out what that is. It's kind of crappy, but we're going to have to do it. All right, so our base is pretty much locked up tight now with the exception of our ladder here, which is fine. Okay, drop these in here. And drop all of this in here. we got six of these. Ah, oh, man. Um... Any way to get wheat. We can grind up wheat to get seeds, which we don't have wheat. It's the one thing we've been leaving behind because we're like, oh, we don't need any wheat. Really? Well, we could have used it, I guess. Uh-huh. That figures. Well, there's a rare chance we can get it from tumbleweeds. Don't really want to do that, though. It takes too long to do that all right you know what I'll see you guys in the morning we'll go we'll go seed hunting in the morning hey everybody welcome back it's the morning so I was out in the fields there 
trying to grab some. I grabbed a few extra seeds, like three. I grabbed a piece of weed off of, of a mob that dropped it. Uh, so we have found a few things, not a lot. A rat stole one of my uh, seeds here. I heard the rat coming, and I'm like, quick, quick, switch to a seed. So that's what I did, and he grabbed a seed and ran away. So uh, that was safe. That was pretty good. It wasn't until like the end of the night that mobs just decided to show up. So I had to make a beeline back to the base. It was quiet for so long. There was like one guy that showed up and then all of a sudden there was like three or four of them that just, or three or four groups of them that just showed up, including rats. I could hear them. I was shooting a uh, crossbow at uh, some guys and then I just heard, the, heard them show up. The rats were right, right behind me. So I was like, no. Just made a beeline back from my base, switched my crossbow to the to the uh, to the seeds, and one of the rats got me. Took the seed. I'm like, okay, that's fine. You take as many seeds as you want, buddy. It wasn't like it was a um, like regular seeds. It was like one like an asparagus asparagus seed or something like that. So I didn't really care. Steal away, my friend. Steal away. As long as you ain't attacking me, I don't care. As long as you think, don't take my sword or my friggin' pickaxe or something. Alright, we're gonna just work my butt off to try and get that last few seeds out here. The problem is, is there's so many seeds in the game. It's like, just finding regular seeds can sometimes just be a nightmare. That's why if you find um, a village with one of those, um, uh, what are they called? Um granaries or whatever they have in there the windmills go in there there's like stacks of seeds in there you can knock this quest off really easy you need you basically need 16 seeds there's that's probably the asshole that took my seed yep <laughs> well we didn't lose a seed guys got her back not that it matters But you need 16 regular seeds in a 4x4 grid. You put them four, or we'll show you shortly. You put them four in a uh, in the 4x4 grid and you make, um, what's it called? I uh, can't remember what the hell anything it's called now. Vegetable oil, vegetable oil, I think it's called. But you need vegetable oil um, to complete this one quest that basically opens up all the cooking quests. And... That's what we want to do to make our kitchen. We got to get all that stuff. So, without seeds, we're pretty much can't do a damn thing. Well, I mean, we can, but we, we just wouldn't get all our quests done, right? We want to get quests here. Try and knock out that whole whole first chapter of quests would be nice. So, what do we got here? Don't need this. An extra four. How many do we have in here? Eight. We got twelve now. We're pretty close. We can get one for the uh, wheat, so we just need three more. We can just put that in the sag mill and it'll sag mill it down to uh, seeds, which is awesome. Maybe we'll get a crit on it too, get a couple seeds. The weird thing is I thought about planting the, uh, the seeds earlier, just to see if we can get them growing, but I was like, ah, I can't be bothered. And then I was like, oh wait, we can turn glowstone into like luminescent lamps. We can make a cool kitchen in a grow up base place thingy trying to get as many diverse seeds as I can because there's so many different um, I think it's Pam's Pam's Harv Harvest Craft it's got so many different food items that we can make god it's taking forever well the one good thing about all this grass being broken is that when we're fighting mobs around our base, we'll not be targeting the grass, we'll be targeting them. It's quiet out here today. Again, I think we got a luck we got really lucky in the area that we chose. Because like I said, I've played before where it's just continuous mobs. Now we do have a mob under our base. And I've been hearing him now, so I don't know whether he's nerd pulling up to us 
or what that is, but he's getting close. So we're going to have to go down there and face him. Have to dig under the base, find out. Um, you're still missing a lot of dirt too. Find out where he is. If there's cave system down there. Um, and just get rid of it or light it up. Can't have people down there. Because we'll just tunnel into the base, right? I don't know how much of this I need. Uh, let's see here. 9, 18. And then 6 more, I think. 24, I think? Well, we got lots. I think I just need 24. We'll grab it all. You guys hungry? A cricket? As long as you're not eating me. That's all that matters. Alright, let's have a look here. We should be close. Still not close. We only got one more, eh? Got 14. We need two more. Really? Don't know if there's a different chance to find them in the desert. Probably not. Doesn't look that way, does it? God. Just increase the spawns just for like two minutes, please. So these things have been hitting the, uh, um, what are they called? The tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds oftentimes have stuff stuck in them. So when the tumbleweeds run into those, uh, when they run into the um, cactus, didn't want that, they will often drop whatever they're carrying. Sometimes you can find good stuff over there. You can find gold nuggets too. I think there's one right here. Yep. I've been finding a few of them. Don't need that. So let's uh, grab some of this. So glad it's quiet tonight. Or today, that is. I think we just got super lucky with our location. All right, you know what? I'll be back when I find some more of these damn seeds. Alright, we got our last seed. Took me forever. We found like two ender lily seeds in this whole thing too, which is awesome. So let's put all these back in here. We got 15, plus we got one for the wheat. And let's get out of here. Because that guy. See if I can shoot him with the crossbow. Yeah, man. And we got both redstone and iron, wherever it went to. I saw the iron pop off him. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, let's get back to the house. It took a whole day, a whole stinking day, to find enough seeds to complete this quest. Wow. That is insane. Should have grabbed them while I could have, while I had it earlier. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. Okay, so let's get these in here. We got enough dirt and let's get our gonna leave everything else in here with the exception of these for now. And sag mill this guy. Thank you. Now we can finally make our four four vegetable oil to complete this quest. There it is. Oh that's our sugar cane. Let's get that too. We need 16 of those. Do we have enough yet? Got 13, not quite enough. Uh, okay, so... Right, quest book. We're going to go back. Right here, finally got enough. Let's take the enchanting bottle. We got some crickets, hooray for that. And we need to book, or make a book here. So this is the cooking for blockheads. So this one I remember is a tricky book to make. Put these in here, put these in here. So, um, so cooking, 
picking for blockheads. It's this one we want to make. So it's just cooking a book down. And then we have to make that one. So it's just cooking a book. The books are in here. There it is. So that should be complete that quest. Yep, there it is. Two stuffed eggplant, nice. And then learning to cook. Cooking for blockheads two. So it's this one. It's, are you serious? Two diamonds, two workbenches. Are you serious? Oh God. Okay, well, we got enough crafting benches. We got diamonds. I don't know why I'm complaining. It's like we can easily get diamonds out of water now. But it's just so, I don't know. It just seems like such a very, very expensive task. All right, cooking for blockheads too. Here we go. Let's get that quest done. And we got a cooking table. Nice. So, we need, in the kitchen, we need to make... A oven and a sink so my guess is that we need iron and stuff for that so let's have a look here I normally don't go this route so I don't know the recipes for these so oven is black stained glass iron and a furnace this is just glass around that's easy enough so let's get uh, some glass clicking up I don't know if we just need regular glass. I better not risk it here. Let's just get regular glass. So we're going to need... What else do we need again? Furnace and iron. We can make that no problem. Because we have... If we go over here... We've picked up some ink. Oops. We, you know, we actually have coal powder anyway. So we can just use that. Uh, where is it? Right here. Just use the coal powder. Go put this in here. So we gotta figure out we're gonna be making a multi-block kitchen. We gotta figure out where everything's gonna be put in the kitchen. So the oven, we need the furnace and the iron still. So we need five iron. Uh five. And we got a furnace in here. We took a whole bunch of furnaces. Well, we took to take a whole bunch. We took a couple of furnaces. Stole them. We need eight of these, right? All right, let's break this up. Uh, my guess is that these guys will be used to make some stuff. So I've been just kind of collecting them. We got like 41. I don't know how many we're going to need. We know, we know we need these for potions, so I'm going to be saving that up. Almost done here. So we need to make... What was it we needed to make? A stove and what? And a sink. A sink I think will be pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to do this, and this, um, and that. So we need this, this, and this, right? Yeah, there's our oven. Okay. And we need a sink now. So let's figure that out. So our sink is... Does that look right? I guess so. Iron, wood around a bucket of water. Okay, that's that's no problem. No problem at all. I don't know if we're gonna lose our bucket, but we'll find out. Alright, let's go get some water. Now we can't get there's no such thing as infinite water supply in this game, so. I haven't been, like, keeping one inside the house, because as soon as you grab a bucket of water, the water disappears. Uh, Alright, so now we need to get... Oh, we got five of this. We can take. We can just use that up. And what was the other thing we needed? Iron. That's kind of weird. And that's not where we want to go. We want to go here. Okay, so, oops, we only need three, right? 
Yeah. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. All right, there's our sink. And we get our bucket back. Nice. Put it back in here. We don't forget. So let's cash this one in. And we claim enchanting bottle. And we get a fridge, too. Painted black. Now we got black lotus. We get black dye from that. Nice. Hanging around. We need a spice rack and a tool rack. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we just type rack. Huh. Nice rack. Uh, so tool rack and spice rack. Here we go. So tool rack is any wood slabs and iron nuggets. So I think we got iron nuggets. We do. Two of those. And we might have wood slabs over here. Two. Maybe we have any more. No. That's no problem. We'll just make some. Uh, it doesn't matter what we make them out of, I guess. I think we got to do it over here, right? Yeah. Oh, well. No biggie. Let's put these guys in here. So we need three slabs and the two nuggets. Hopefully the other one's just as easy. Okay, so there's our tool rack. And now our spice rack is just a wood, one wood slab. Okay. Not going to argue that. There's the spice rack. Uh, that goes in here. All right. Uh, bakeware or saucepan? We get a pot and a skillet. Which one is harder to make? So the bakeware is porcelain clay, which is clay and bone meal. So that's easy. And then what's the other thing? A saucepan? Saucepan. Well, how much, what does it take to make a saucepan here? Saucepan is a plate and a stick. So, yeah, we're not going to use the plate and the stick. We're going to take the saucepan, I think, for this quest. Nice. Now, that ends this branch. Okay, cool. We don't have enough sugar yet. So we got the saucepan. Wait. Oh, it was the bakeware. Right? And that was, whoops, that was bone meal and clay, which is no problem. So let's take eight clay. We'll just make that now, just so we have it. Uh, and some bone meal. Okay. Easy enough. Sun's coming up. There's our bakeware. Cool. All right, so let's figure out... Now, multi, I think these multi, um, multi-block kitchens, stores ingredients for recipes, diable. Provides water to recipes. All right, so, look at this, it's growing like crazy in here. Uh, we wanna do this. We need more worms. Oh, no, we don't. We got a bunch. What am I talking about? I went and picked some up. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here real quick, but I want to do this just so we have it ready to go. So we picked up. We got extra three worms here. I think we only need... Yeah, we need three. And I wanted to use... Uh, that's day 28. There we go. That works out a little better. We got three of these. We want one there. One here, and one here. Now we can take these out. It's not interfering with our plants. And I'm going to harvest all this stuff. Well, I just did that, didn't I? I'll harvest all this stuff off camera. It's nice. Look at it. It's like a grow up in here. It's nice and bright. Cool. Let's put this stuff in here. So we're going to have some good food to eat next little while. Okay, now we're going to figure out how we're going to lay the kitchen out. Let's take this out. Let's take this out because we got this light and this light. 
So I want to think use this wall here. We'll put the sink. Like there, like it's using the water from outside. And the cooking table probably in the middle. And our stove and our fridge. I know we shouldn't probably put the fridge next to the stove, but okay, we got stuff in there. Cooking oven. So we need to have stuff. Spice rack. We can put there. Tool rack we can put above our cooking space. And I think we can hang, if I'm not mistaken, tools. So we make another tool rack. I think all the tools, as long as the racks are near, God, there's a guy outside again. As long as the racks are near, we need three, right? And some iron. Right, one, two, three. Yep, and we can put our other tools on there, I think. We'll put them above the sink. I'm not sure if they can both go on there. Yep, they can. Okay, cool, so they should all be available now when we use this. Oh wait, do we put them in there? I wonder if we put them in there. Looks like it. Looks like it. Okay. Sure. Let's go murder that guy outside because he's annoying. Don't know how we're still getting uh, enough people spawning here. Oh, you tricky guy, you. Come on. Pull it up here. I need more stone. Come on. Let's do this. So I think maybe between episodes I'm going to dig down. Try and find out where that guy below us is. Uh, or where someone underneath us is spawning. There we go. Uh, and once I've determined where he is... I'll light it all up down there and I'll show you where they were spawning. Just so we're not spending an entire episode trying to root out evil under our base. I mean, it might be fun, but yeah, maybe we do it. I'll do an episode on that one. You can determine if you want to watch it or not. Uh, I think it would be kind of, uh, I don't know, it might be interesting to see what, I mean, it could be like nothing too. We could go down there and be like a whole lot of nothing. So... Okay, so let's put this here. And I want to grab, because I want to move that into the kitchen. So we're going to grab this with a wooden chest transporter. Gonna bring it in here. Gonna put it right here. Boom. Somebody else outside. Where are they coming from? Oh, it's here, Brian. What's up, buddy? Nice look today. Where'd your clothes go? Come on. I need an ender pearl. And more stone. He's so much easier to kill in your base than he is uh, out in the wild, that's for sure. I would have thought he would have teleported, but not this time. He's not leaving any ender pearls anymore either. Come on, Jen. Let's go. Oh, you took the ender pearl. That's why. Alright, so I think before we end the episode, we're going to have to cook some stuff. I mean, otherwise, why put together the uh, the 
kitchen if we're not going to do that. Man, that's so much better collecting stone this way. Like rather than having to go out and just like search around the world and try and find more stone, just let them bring it to you. Just makes things so much easier. Black guy, we can throw that in here. Just throw it in here with the organics. All right, let's cook something. Cooking for blockheads. Let's check this out. Um, oh, this book will allow us to... Can craft th things using food in your inventory. That's interesting. Oh, well, we want to keep that on us. So once we learn how to craft stuff... Uh, let's do another... Um, where do we put the books? In here, right? What's cooking for blockheads one then? What does this give us? Um, not enough ingredients. Well, we got, you know what it is, is because we don't have like all this stuff. But there's got to be a book that tells you what recipes use what ingredients. Because I planted a, like pretty much one of everything in here just so that we would have stuff. I, grabbed, I planted the beetroot just so that we would have red dye, pineapples, tomatoes. Like we got so much stuff in here. I'm going to need to make another one of these. Because look at all this. Or we're going to have to sort this out and figure out what's going to be going where. Canola. Tomatoes. Yeah. I planted all these potatoes because I'm hoping to get the potato gun up and running. I know we were going to get the turrets up, but we haven't really needed the turrets at all. I know soon we will, but we're not right now. Um, I think I'm going to have to get this kitchen organized and figure out what I, what I need to do here. We're going to have to make a healing uh, chest. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, so I finally kind of figured this out. Doubled the size of the fridge. Uh, made a couple of bakeware items. So you just basically stuff everything in the fridge. Um, and that's kind of what I've done. And then when you click on this, it basically gives you the recipes of stuff you can make. Uh, now I still am missing a few things um, as far as, you know, cooking wise goes. Um, so I can make chili right now, which is actually really good. Um, it's like really exceptional. It's a large meal. Uh, so I can make a bunch of these if I wanted to. Toast is actually pretty good. It's a light meal. Uh, and that's just cooked bread, which we have some bread in there already. So beans and rice, lentil large meal is really good. So we've got some stuff going on here. So not a lot right now, but once we get more um, stuff uh, put in here, like just cooking canola gives us seeds. Um, the, the more stuff we put in here, um, the better it's going to be. I don't know if we just put the canola seeds in there, if we can get anything out of it. We still haven't got enough um, put these in there. Uh, I don't think that's going to give us anything. Nope. Um, but we still have um, to get some sugar, so that'll open a bunch of stuff up. Uh, I've been kind of going through the Pam's, Pam's Harvest Craft recipes here. There's like corn on the cob, butter, right? We need heavy cream and salt. Oh, yeah, we do have salt. That's the other thing. I should probably go get that and bring it in. We've been getting salt from, uh, yeah, there's a bunch here. From our drops here, we picked up a bunch. So there's 60 salt. Plenty of salt. So let's throw that in here. I don't know if that's going to give us a lot more. Ah, uh, veggie strips. It's a light meal. So, I mean, the more ingredients we get, the better the better this is going to end up being. Um, you could do raisins with uh, dried grapes, just a little snack. Um, so, yeah, anyway, we're going to keep doing that. Um, I'm going to keep trying to find more um, stuff to put in there. Uh, and the more stuff we get in there, the better our food's going to be. Yeah, we still have a... Uh, yeah, there's a few things here that I didn't quite grab, or they weren't quite ready when I was in here last time, so... Let's just drop all these in the fridge. So we can make counters and stuff too, which will give us the ability to uh, 
add more stuff. I don't think that's going to add anything now. So yeah, we'll uh, keep looking for seeds. Uh, we're going to get some wheat, throw it in there. A um, bunch of other stuff, some fish. I want to get the uh, strainer going here. The uh, where is it here? Where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. I made an extra shipping bin. Think I could put all those stuff, in, all that stuff in there, but it uh, didn't kind of pan out. Um, so yeah, we have yeah the uh, fisherman strainer. So we're gonna try and pick up some more stuff off of this, and then we'll uh, throw the fish in there too. We might get more stuff out of that. I have no idea. So um, yeah, anyway, that's kind of the goal. We'll see how that goes in the next episode. Um, we may go on another walkabout. We still need more redstone. Uh, there's a few other things that we want to grab um, when we're out. And some other quests that we want to try and finish up here. So we've got, well, this one's really easy. Let's just do this real quick. Healing salve. Get the healing bit of this done. Uh, we need a stick and we need, oh, we got a bowl in here. Easy enough. Two seeds of any kind. We've got plenty of seeds in here. We've already put the uh, oh cactus fruit. I haven't put that one in yet. We put one of everything in here anyway. So uh, what else? Um, we need one of these guys, and then we can do this right in here. Let's get this done. We we'll get a bit more healing. Yay! And we've already got one of these. We get this. So we're getting plo pretty close to finishing this up. All sugared up. And we don't really need crude tools, building bridges. This kind of stuff we can finish up at some point in time in the future. We don't really care about them right now. Uh, but we will go through and do it. Uh, just to clean it up. I don't think we have anything else. Yeah, I know. So infrastructure. Tanks a lot. Well, maybe we can just quickly do these before the end of the episode. I know this was really focused on um, getting the food and cooking up and running. Let's look at the singularity tank. So let's just glass and iron. That's easy enough. We can go do this real quick. Let's drop these healing things in here. Uh, yep, that's our healing bin. So we drop these guys in there. Heart of gold can go in there as well. And then right here is that crate. So let's get some glass. Oop, not right here. Here we go. Just need five. I don't think I think we can do it in here. I think it'll just I'll think it'll take this glass. This is this will be like um, quite clear glass, I think it's called. No, it just gives us regular glass. Okay. Perfect. And then we need uh, iron, which we've got in here now. I moved everything over. Um I only needed four of those just because it was uh, everything was in the middle of the floor and kind of in the way so I think it was this way right yep let's turn this one in so there's a few like like I said there's still a few minor things that we need to get done here this we can put here and then let's do uh, transfer node. We need to make transfer pipes, which I think is more glass and stone slabs, right? Um, so we need to make fluid transfer node, which is stone, a bucket, which we have, and transfer pipes, which are glass, redstone, and stone slabs. So we picked up some stone slabs before. The reason why was because of this. Uh, we put them in here. So we need to take these out. We need regular stone, which we can get. We need redstone. Um, right, it's just a transfer. Regular stone, we got the bucket. We need two redstone for that. And then we need glass. How much regular stone do we have? Plenty. All right, pull this out of here. Um, do we have any more stone in here? Does not look that way. 
because we're going to need some more here. Uh, I may have to cook these guys into stone. Let's actually do, do that. Okay, so transfer pipe. Uh, we need glass, right? At least two. And everything is quicker now. And we need one of these guys. I know we're going to need one of these guys in a minute. So let's get one of these bins right now. Uh... Got the glass, so the transfer pipe is why the redstone's in the center, I have no idea. And then we do this, and this, and this, and we should get our bucket back. Yep. All right, so now claim our reward. Yeah, so that opens up all this. We just made this, which gives us redstone and lava. Another rack. We're going to take the uh, healing or the uh, enchanting bottles. Obsidian furnace. Okay, cool. So now we need to do this one. We have red, we got enough for red rose. We got stone. Uh, resonating redstone crystal. These are not necessarily easy to make. So resonating redstone crystal is redstone around an ender shard, um, which gives us one. So actually, let's do this really quick. I'm going to put this on here, and I'll take a transfer pipe, put it there, and that, that should drain all the creosite out. Nice. So we can keep that going. So let's put these guys in here. Um, obsidian furnace. I don't know. Let's just put it down here for now. Uh, we've got... Another act can go in here too. Redstone can go in here. And we need one of these guys. Oh wait, we need four resonating redstone crystals, right? Don't we? We need four. That's not good. Um, yeah. But it's okay though, because these with these four we can actually make redstone ore once we finally get this. Uh, so it's two of these, and we've got this for the die. So we got two of the things we need: um, stone. We need four stone. I put the experience in here, didn't I? I did. So I can go in there. I can put this barrel down. We're not really going to need this. This would be making. This would be for making. Um, um, like you put lava in here, drop in redstone or drop in whatever to make obsidian. We're going to need it to make endstone because uh, that's one of the quests here that we have to do. Um, so let's claim this reward. So now we have redstone. Oops. We have redstone ore. We can actually make a. Um, Where is it here? We need this, this, and regular stone. We need one more stone. Uh, now that we have these redstone ores, we can go ahead and plant the redstone, which we'll do, and we'll end the episode here. Let's put the redstone... Uh, the best bet would be to put it in this corner, but I don't want to do that. That's the front wall. We don't want to be near the front wall. Oh, let's take these out. And this guy. We're not really using these anyway. They're kind of decoration right now. Uh, we can put the furnace here. Let's put this guy above it. And let's put the sieve. Let's put it down here. And then we're going to put this stuff in here. Right here. And once again, we want to make sure this is protected. So we're going to just dig down one more. Okay, put this down. Whoops, uh, here we go. Just in case there's anything that weird that happens. 
like somebody's digging up or whatever it'll be hard for them to get through there we go nice now you can use these guys these guys and stone let's actually get um, we have five I thought we had more um, cobble I just not seeing it here All right, we can make it easy enough. Good thing we got tons of clay. Okay, so we need another five. Let's cook this real fast. And once that's cooked, um, we will go ahead let's put this in here. Oh God, I do that every time I come back to the kitchen. It's like, <sighs> I've been using up my bone meal, turning this thing back to white, I'm trying to keep it all relatively the same here. Um, it's kind of frustrating. I come in to click on it, and it's like, whoops. Uh, oh, wait, beetroot. Um, we should have, yeah, we can make, whoops, this into red dye. Nice. And then we're going to take these guys. We're going to make two more. I think it's this way. Pretty sure this is how you do it. Yeah, two more redstone ore. Cool. So we can plant two more here. Nice. And wow, boy, I keep doing that. Getting tired, that's what it is. All right. There we go. Let's get the redstone in there. And then we've got, we picked up some of those. Yeah, here we go. Got those from the strainer. Oh, get a couple more going. Nice. Excellent. So that can go in there. And this is a singularity tank full of lava. So that we can use in here. Okay. This should be done now. Yep. And this is done. Stick the coal coke in here. Where are you? There you go. So I've been just trying to keep up with uh, the steel manufacturing. Just been doing 16 at a time. Um, I don't want to go too much um, at a time. Just in case for whatever reason we need a lot of stuff for uh, recipes in the future. Uh, I know we're going to need a lot of steel. But uh, I would rather get a good jump on it so when we get ready to get into uh, um, building the rocket and stuff, we have a lot of this available. Redstone we're doing pretty well on now. Um, we were having some trouble there a little while ago, but we did that. Uh, um, the walk-arounds, we picked up some when we were out there. String of pearls. This is end stone. Oh, you know what we can do? Uh, now that I think about it, we picked up a couple of... Where are they here? We don't take them out of our backpack? Oh my god, we still have all this stuff in our backpack. I forgot all about that. Uh, I thought we had more seeds than that. I was like, where are all our seeds? Seeds are right here. In the damn backpack. That's where they are. Alright, now we can go in and we can find other stuff here. Put those in there. Uh, sure. Let's do all this in here too. Okay, so we want to take these out. We want to plant these. Um, what do we have that we haven't got? Bell peppers we haven't got in, out there. We do have rutabaga. We do have spinach, I believe. Zucchini, we do. Radish, yes. Turnips, don't think so. Beets, I don't think so. Peas, we need peas. Got bamboo shoots, we got mustard. Peanuts, we don't have. Leeks. can't remember what we have now. We know we have pineapple. Artichokes, I'm pretty sure we don't. Sesame seed, we do. Cucumber, yes. Corn, we do. Tomatoes. Garlic, we need. Celery, we have. Tea, we have. Brussels sprouts, we have. Beans, we have. Cactus fruits, yes. Rhubarb, yes. I'm pretty sure we do. Sesame and cucumber, yes. Scallions, yes. Oats, we do. Blackberries, we don't. 
chili peppers I don't think we do either rice candleberry bell pepper we already put in here right yeah water chestnuts we did plant one kiwi we don't have all right let's see if we can, how much of this we can get in here so raspberry wait raspberries we do have chili pepper blackberry just going to keep planting all this stuff you know the thing is is we can take out the uh this stuff we're almost done with it all i think we should have enough room to get all these in here Oh yeah, there's plenty of room here. Might as well put another raspberry down. Give it the raspberry. Now I don't know. Gonna I don't know about rhubarb, barley, cabbage, parsnip. I don't know about parsnip and cabbage. Barley, I'm pretty sure we put in corn now this is a different corn than what we've got growing here let's put these guys down I need one more space here there we go oops god we're gonna end up with a full inventory again uh, where is the seed here There we go. Curry. Can't forget the curry. Are you kidding me? Okay, put those back in there. Let's get this guy. We're almost done with all that stuff. Pretty soon I'm not going to need to harvest a lot of this stuff because, I mean, we're only going to be making a certain amount. But the more we grab right now... Um, when we go to head, ahead and do make recipes later on, uh, we'll have it all and ready to go. So apparently you can make kitchen cupboards too, which I'm planning on doing, which you can add more ingredients into. This is just getting us started. Now I don't know if we can actually use those beets for anything or if we have to use the Pam's Harvest Craft beets. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here. All right, let's put this in there. I think that corn's not growing because it needs to be one higher. I think it just stopped. I think these beets aren't actually usable. I'm pretty sure they're not. Okay, well, that's pretty good. We need stone for this. So let's get ourselves some stone. Uh, we need to cook two more, I guess. Do that real quick. Ah, I love this having this set up now. Just so fast. Boom. Alright, so we're gonna put the ender seeds where? Some of them we're not gonna be stepping on them. Right, right here probably. Let's put them right in here. Probably a good idea. Dig down right here. I haven't decided where I'm going to dig down to see where I can find that cave. Okay, now we can put regular stone in. And then we can plant these guys. Why can't I not plant you? Probably because this is in the way, maybe? I don't know. Oh no, this is on regular. Oh god, why do I do this? It's supposed to be on regular dirt. Oops, what am I doing? Leave this here. Let's put the dirt down. It just, yeah, it's just supposed to be on regular dirt. Uh, here we go. I keep thinking it needs to be on stone. I don't know why that is. You do that. And then we can put these back in. There we go. Let them grow there. And we can put this here, this here, and this chopping block is just about done. But uh, it's 
put it right there for now. All right, so we're going to end the episode here. Hope you hope you enjoyed it. That was kind of long. A lot of stuff was going on. Um, I'm going to clean these strainers out, and we'll see what we can do in the next episode. I'm not sure what, what it's going to be. Uh, we may want to go and hit up hit up the uh, village again, uh, or one of the villages, and see if we can grab a whole bunch of that uh, um, wheat. Um, so we'll do that probably. Uh, this corn actually can come out of here now because I can't grow it here. It's not there's not high enough. But uh, yeah, and maybe we'll work a little bit more on the kitchen, um, getting a few more things in play with that. I know there's some stuff that we can add to it. Uh, there's like counters, kitchen counter space and stuff that we can add. We may add it over here. That'll just actually adds on to uh, the amount of stuff that goes in here. And we can add some stuff to the spice rack. There's also a couple of other things we can make here. Required iron plates and stuff. I didn't feel like making it. So uh, and I got to figure out how this oven works. So I'll probably have to go online and see what we can do with this. This is probably a fuel slot, I think. Looks like that. Yeah, it looks like it's a fuel slot. So we'll figure it out. All right. So yeah, until next time, um, if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.